what's going down, commanders? I've been thinking about this for a few days now, and, and basically this this unit is is a god at the minute. Until Kickside decide that they're, they're no longer earning money out of it, or no one's purchasing the upgrades when they offer it on the right hand side here, or in the store where it's supposed to be. Um, basically, what they're going to do with this unit is is you won't be able to repair it faster than it's getting damaged, and that's what they're going to do with it. And I think it's a shared uh, repair, so it's not. It's not like I think it repairs everything evenly. So it repair the, the the tank itself, then it repair one of the units, and then so forth and so on, depending on how many units you got with it. So what they do eventually, maybe not this event, maybe not next event, but you know a month or two time down the road, the damage that you get from any one source will be higher than the damage that it will uh, the damage that will repair it. So when this is doing damage, the repair damage won't be as big as the damage it's being done to it. So basically, one shot will take a bar away, and then it might repair a quarter of a bar. And then when another shot comes in from an enemy vehicle, it'll take another bar away, but the shot going back the other way will only get a quarter of a bar health. So eventually, this unit's going to be absolutely useless. It's a bit of a gimmick. Um, it's going to be, be okay for, I reckon, for a month or two tops. Before kicks, I decide probably once this um, spider event is over. Well, you might find out today that kicks. I've decided they don't want this unit to be as good as what it was in the previous events. They will probably tone it down a little bit in the skirmishes, making this unit viable in the skirmishes for a few months. But it could be this event straight after we get it. Kicks. I decide no, we're going to make sure the damage is higher than what the actual repair back towards the unit would be. And it's very fucking sneaky of them. It, it just clicked in my mind a couple of days back. And just keep an eye on it, guys, because I, I would like to say I called it, put the video out. They might change their mind. It might work for a little while longer than what, what we've done now because I'm posting a video about it. And it seems to be the way kicks I work these days. But it just bothers me that it's, it's kind of a gimmick unit because it isn't a good unit. If it didn't have that repair ability, this unit isn't good. You wouldn't use it daily. It's too slow. Its range is too little. It's only because it's got that gimmick attached to it. I keep calling it a gimmick. The talent, whatever kicks I want to call it these days. Units per fucking iota and all that fucking bollocks. Um, it it just makes me laugh, and it's it's gonna be good. And, and basically, it's just designed to get the maximum amount of coin out of players in a short period of time. Obviously, if you had to coin it from level 10 or uh, level 11 to Omega, and then some people actually bought the Omega parts, I'm guessing that's going to be passed around a few more times before before this event's done or next event. What's next event? Sector Breach. That's no good in that. It's going to be one of them ones where you, it's going to be useful until kicks I see a decrease in people spending. And that's a shame. It's and this is the way the company's going these days. They put out a fucking survey. Um, let's have a look what it says. How's your war commander experience in July, June? Sorry, please let us know by taking a shorter service, a survey even. Right, they asked for your ID. My ID's there. How was your war commander's experience in over the last thirty days? I'll be honest with you. I haven't played the game outside of an event because I need a break. So I'll, I'll, I'll wake up. If there's anything on the map that I can make a video out of, I will. Again, later on in the afternoon, I'll have a look on the map and see what... I, there's not a lot on the map to do, to be fair. So it, it's going to be a two. What is your reason for, for your score today? Too many events. And repetitive. How do I spell repetitive? <laughs> Let me make sure I'm re just spelling that right. My dy dyslexia is coming in there. And repetitive bullshit. Uh, how would you like, how, how likely are you to recommend War Command to a friend? There isn't a zero. So I've got to select at least one. Uh, your reason for that, you're a ripoff. You're just ripping off the player's left done and that is it that is your survey 
But if you guys, you don't have to copy what I'm saying now. I'm just doing it for the fucking banter. I will submit that. Um, it, it, it's not far from the truth. I would go into more detail if you were going to go and do that sur survey. Do I think Kickside read it? Probably not. There's probably a good chance that uh, Kickside don't even bother reading these. It's just one of them things to appease the players, to make them feel like they're they're what they they're suggesting, the things they're saying actually matter to the the people in charge of the company or the the dev team that are running the game none of none of that what we say there is getting read it goes to survey monkey survey monkey pass the information across and they probably give them an average score but the stuff that you type in the the actual type where you can type out what you how you feel it don't go to anyone at kick or anyone that matters at kick so i should have said it probably does go to the t-boy or or the guy that mops the toilets or something like that. He has to sit in a fucking broom closet reading all these things. And then he gives them a, a little rundown of what, what, what's being said about them. But again, every unit in the game now, it feels like within two months, maybe nuts, nine times out of ten, it's before two months. They're no longer of any use. We've forgotten about and we've moved on. It's too, too fast paced. And it's all designed to just claw as much money as they can. And if you go and look at the Steel Front Group uh, YouTube channel, you will see that they don't care about actual game mechanics. They don't care about player base. They don't care about the, the, the people spending money on this game. All they care about is profits, margins, percentiles, and all that bullshit. And it's basically a, a, a 101 of how, how to manipulate a, a core player base of the game to the, to the point where they just... They feel like they have to spend to stay within touching distance of the top ranks. I, I will be stopping. As you can see, I've got, got a little bit of coin, but it will probably be me. If not me last, I will reduce it down drastically. And start spending me money elsewhere, basically. That's all I want to do is spend me money elsewhere. I'm, I'm tired of it. I'm not playing the game as much as I was. I pretty much give up with PvP. Even though PvP is very, very easy at the minute. And it's quite a bit of fun. Um, I don't like the pay to win aspect of it. So you can pay 100 coins for six hours. And you can go out and just bubble anyone that you feel like with just like nothing. That needs to be removed in my opinion. All the all the coin boosts need to be removed for me to uh, pique my interest. And I was that's why I've got coin. is because I was spending money on the, the 210 coin boosts. Um... But then you can't compete against the people that are spending that, the two lots of 40 coin on the other coin boost. And then the two coin boosts in front of that, they're spending 100. You can't compete against them. And it makes the, the game so uneven. And it makes it uneven just for the two 10 coin boosts to be in a game. It shouldn't be like that. You, you shouldn't make... Players should be able to get somewhere with five or six, five tunes and obviously air yeah, in a base. You probably can with these... Um, Orions, but it, it, it's just and it becomes boring. It becomes the same pattern, exactly the same as as um hitting event event bases over and over and over again. PvP is the exact same way. I was doing the same deploy, same. I didn't have to change any tactics to flat anyone. It was just the same thing on repeat, and that 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 bored me as well. It it, it got it got to the point where I was like, oh, I, I might as well be doing an event at this point because I'm only getting a bit of fucking silly little number that shows how far up the leaderboard I am with with hitting bases. It made no sense to me in, in the end, which is a shame. And I wish Kixar would not listen to me, but listen to, to the actual fucking players playing the game. You know, they get they get told things in their Discord, but you, you tell them something they don't want to hear and they, they, they seem to kick you or mute you up on it or completely ban you from it. And it's that's sad to see, but it's... It is kicks like 101 at days. Sorry for the rank, guys. I just feel like I needed to get that out there. The as, I, as a, the, the initial reason I made this video was about the Rhino X, and it's it's only going to be any use until kicks I decide they've or see that the numbers, the spending on that unit has disappeared. Once that disappears, they will then put units into the event bases. That will do more damage than the actual repair will get back. Much, much more damage than the repair will get that back. Very easy to uh, nullify that unit in a very short period of time. Anyway, take care, guys. I don't know whether this will be uploaded, but if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up.
if you don't, give it a thumbs down. And I'll catch you later on tonight. Uh, 1800 hours GMT for the live event show. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.